Welcome to Sailing Sertia. I'm Tegan. My parents sold our house, sold their business, and bought a 38-foot island spirit catamaran with the goal to travel the world. Only problem is, it needed a complete refit. This is Colbin, my husband. Karen, my mom. Denver, my brother. And Robin, my dad. Together we make up Sailing Sertia. Welcome back to Sailing Sertia. In last week's episode, we took you to Tobago Caves with us. It was one of the most incredible experiences we've had so far while working our way up the chain in the Caribbean. The water, the turtles, the snorkeling, everything just made it a beautiful experience and one not to be missed. Unfortunately, we only had three days in Tobago Cays and then the weather started to turn, so we headed across to Meru. It was a quick trip of only 45 minutes to Ceylon Bay where we dropped anchor. It's a bit of a rough landing, but the boys have got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, they did pretty well. We got dropped off at the dock, but the swell is just so crazy. We're just the thingy would be just smashing underneath the dock and being taken all over the place. But that's a very pretty view. So we got to Meru two days ago, but after Tobago Cays, we just spent the day yesterday relaxing and sleeping because to be okay we felt like we had to make most of everything all our time there so we really kept very busy while we were there but Meru's very laid back and there's some swell coming through this week so we'll be here for a while. There is one main road that runs from Ceylon Bay to Salt Whistle Bay which is just past the beach through a fence and you make it to a dirt road that leads onto a tar road and you just follow that all the way to the end of the island. This is quite a steep hill. Goats. Hey there. Just thinking, lady, that's what I've been eating all day. Bring me something new. Bring me one <laughs> little critters aren't they? She really does have a mother too. There are quite some steep hills on Meru but very doable especially when you get to these views. What's the name of this establishment? Robert Righteous and the Lovely. Seafood Restaurant and Bar. 
Lovely, thank yeah, you. Yeah, but neither week we are open. Okay. About halfway between Salt Whistle Bay and Ceylon Bay, you get to this beautiful little church. You go around the left side of it and you have incredible views of Tobago Cays. While we were in Meiru, there was a lot of wind and swell predicted to come through and we were pretty protected in Ceylon Bay while we were there. Colbin could possibly be one of the most accident prone people I have ever known. So for him to tell me he was gonna climb up this tree like this, I just knew there was a good camera shot coming. Salt Whistle Bay is beautiful but way too busy for us. There are constantly boats coming and going and the moorings are so close together and it's a very small little bay. So we were quite happy with staying in Ceylon Bay. It wasn't as flat as Salt Whistle Bay but still very enjoyable. We're on a hike across the island, which is only a couple of hundred meters. We're just going across to see if we can find the um, water on the other side, because there's supposed to be a lot of reef there. 
Going to see if it's a snorkeling possibility. Oh, looks like we're making headway there. Windward side of Meru Island. here at some stage. It's pretty derelict now. The line is we've got some Tobago Keys in front of us. Turned into hunter gatherers today. Found tons of prickly pears. We picked one the other day and the insides were so tasty. So today we came prepared with tubs and we've even read on the internet that you can eat the leaves of this cactus. So we're going to be grilling some of those tonight. Stay tuned for the results. What did you find? That's the ones I was talking about. Look at these little girls. Oh, the little. Oh, you, want to go, you want to go one of these on the boat? Look well done to you. As long as it's on. What's coming our way? Oh yes, I can hear them. Hopefully not with the owners. Well, I'm sure these don't belong to anybody. This one's quite soft. Oh, look at that pink one. So you reckon it's prickly pear vodka tonight? Yeah. So we are harvesting our leaves for our grilled cactus. We're gonna have to go on TV on yeah. survival to survivor. Let me see what you're doing so I can put it in the video. Why? So Cutting all the. Also just cut them all the oh yeah, but you're patting them over the bag. And over So it appears we would just drill these and then open them up and scoop the flesh out the inside. At worst we can make some tequila. I don't think so. Not. Hey man. You, you almost got a crotch full of sparks. <laughs> you calling me a poet? <laughs> That's not nice. Farmers at work. This is a lot of effort. Better taste good. Uh. <laughs> what is it all? What little ones or big one? Oh, so it's the same as the fruit, basically. Oh, it's got the. Oh, I see them in your in your pointy finger there. Yes. The hairs. Whee. 
cost of living off the land. <laughs> the sad part is that if they're really good, coming back for more. <laughs> You see, you need to be like your wife. She spikes the, the bottom of the piece into a big thorn to hold it still whilst she works on it. This is way too much effort. Amen. It's going to be good. Our next mission today was to find some coconuts. Tons of coconut trees here. We want some coconut water for our cocktails. So this is the beach directly in front of where our boats are anchored. I mean, all the boats are anchored, rather. Nice bar here. Pretty, hey? Unfortunately, the prickly pear leaves, cactus leaves, didn't taste so great, but we did make a prickly pear fruit syrup for our cocktails and it was delicious. There is a ferry that loves to come in and out of Ceylon Bay at top speed, so if you are anchoring facing the beach, try and stay as far to the right as possible. you want coconut milk for your cocktails you come coconut shopping so Colvin's using the boat hook he found on the ocean floor at Sandy Island <laughs> to Try and get coconuts. Look how long that boat is. I'd have to see if we can do it. A boat we found at Sandy Island. Yeah. Ah, oh, he broke the thing. Typical cold and sound. I'm just drinking wine and watching it happen because I got a feeling he's going to take a coconut to the forehead. After waiting out the big seas and high winds, we headed back to Union Island for one last fire on the beach with some other cruising friends. If you enjoyed our video please give it a like and if you haven't already and want to be notified about our next videos please hit subscribe and the notification bell.